経験値もプライドも信頼だって Gundam Aerials from the TV series Mobile Suit Gundam The Bitch, uh, I mean Witch, from Mercury, in which it appears as the main mobile suit of the series piloted by a literal crying raccoon. Definitely not getting laid. <laughs> Moving to the model kit, when viewing what Bandai brought to the table, it's your standard Bandai quality, or for normies, exquisite. The plastic is high quality, and the model kit is solid, for the most part. Observing closely, the headpiece is superbly rendered with the extra V-fence, the shiny sticker eyes, and the separately colored parts beautifully rendered throughout the face. But a point to note is that unlike the iconic Gunpla that possesses a rectangular and bulky face, the Gundam Ariel, sticking to her feminine name, possesses a slimmer figure, further highlighting the Gundam's femininity. 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 Ugh. Gender. The body is composed of a combination of red, white, and blue. But a unique point regarding Ariel is that she possesses a psycho- uh, I mean a Gundam technology allowing for children to engage in mass murder. It looks exactly like Call of Duty, doesn't it? The Gundam parts are unique as they are translucent with their individual markings embedded inside, with them being situated in a perfect spot. Can you show me your titties? Allowing Ariel in the eyes of others to... It's the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. <sighs> Slimping over mechs now, what have I spiraled down into? No. The arms, also like the body, are superbly sculpted, moving down unlike previous Gundam designs that had a massive skirt, the Ariel wears a short skirt that's hardly dare. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> when closely observing the legs, you can clearly witness that Ariel is a Dick girl, making her capable of conducting the shark <laughs> kick. On the other hand, the calves are thin, abiding to Ariel's feminine nature, and feet are massive, kind of reminding me of high heels. Looking at the back, the backpack also possesses the Gundam piece, or in this case, sticker, with two beam sabers being situated at top, and a tailpiece with two ends that plays an important part down the line. As being a high grade or 1 out of 144 scale for non Gumpla fans, Gundams recreated in the high grade line are usually small with the high grade original Gundam rounding out at a 15 centimeters or 5.9 inches, as most of my audiences are from the United States, with the high grade Ariel being a little under 15 centimeters or 5.9 inches. Here's the high grade Ariel next to other Gumpla, SH Mossads. Star Wars Black Series, Pikma Figures, the real great Gao Gai Gar, and the Figure Rise Standard Suleta Mercury. When it comes to accessories regarding Bandai releases, they are either a hit or a miss. But with Bandai's cash cow being Gumpla, they usually are accompanied by a wide assortment of accessories with more advanced and expensive lines such as the real great line, possessing a wider assortment compared to the high grade counterparts. But with this being a new series and line, I was curious on what kind of accessories the high grade Ariel would be accompanied by, and to my expectations. <laughs> extra hands? Nope, get the DLC. Extra heads? Gundams don't have expressions. Weapons? 
Well, a beam rifle that can be used for medium to long range, and the details are pretty good for a high grade. They also get a firing effect that can be attached to a rifle adding for extra playability. The rifle can also be attached to bed with this extra peg piece inserted. And the two separate pieces on the tail can be placed on the barrel of the rifle capable of allowing the aerial to have extra firepower. You also get a shield piece in order to assemble the shield. What shield? This aerial shield composed of each individual funnel which acts as its own remote firing system. But even as the shield, the performance is superb as it can absorb direct hits from melee weaponry while deflecting incoming projectiles, making for a superb defense measure against hostiles. And aerials also accompanied by two blue lightsaber, uh, I mean beam saber effect pots that can be attached to the handles on the back to recreate the aerial when engaging in a close quarter combat or for some cool shots. When observing the range of motion that Ariel possesses, she's basically a run of the mill Gumpla. Nothing special in the eyes of Gumpla veterans, but when comparing to such standards to non-Gumpla lines, the head can move side to side, also up and down but usually breaks off. The neck is capable of having back and forth movement, so it complements the head movement. The body is only capable of a slight bend, but there is a semi-butterfly joint allowing for slight maneuverability. The shoulder armor, when lifted, allows the arms to move up. The staple Gundam bicep movement, a little over 90 degrees for the elbows and a wide range of movement for the hands for a certain intricate request. The waist is capable for chiropractors to conduct. Skirts are also movable for some one-on-one -on -one Nihon Sekahare or Hanguk Shik Song Chwing. The legs can spread. Time for the little mermaid to spread her legs. <laughs> Knees have a superb bend. And ankles can only move up and down. If you want to move side to side, I'd be careful where I was sticking my nose if I were you. So, what is there left to say? Bandai's rendition of their latest Gundam in the high grade line is a success, especially due to the detailed sculpting, the wide array of accessories, and the stability of the kit. You can state that the accessory department is lacking, which I can't deny. But the components in the shield do make up for most accessories. With such statements, the high grade aerial is a must buy, especially regarding the fact that the series is still going strong. It is only natural for me to recommend this kit to both Gunpla veterans and Wild Kid Virgins, as this isn't a hard build and you have a beautiful girl to look forward to.